Uh, let's talk about Mel Stride, the Work and Pensions uh, Secretary, uh, who has got useful advice. Uh, if you're in your 50s, you might have lost your job, you might have taken early retirement, not anticipating this terrible cost of living crisis, and you're struggling. So you need more money. Well, Mel says, here's what you should do. Get yourself a, do a job delivering takeaways. So that is the offer that this brilliant Tory government is making to, shall we say, 58-year-olds. Yeah, 58, how about delivering some takeaways? Now, I don't want to be a job snob, and actually, uh, if anybody does do that, I, I sort of quite admire them in a way, uh, but it doesn't seem to me to be a portrait of a fantastic country that people on the verge of becoming pensioners are being told by the government become takeaway delivery uh, bicycle riders. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a picture of the paucity of what this government is able to do these days, isn't it? And by the way, Mel Stride uh, at the next election will almost certainly lose his seat, uh, so perhaps he might want to think about uh, becoming a delivery driver, uh, dri uh, not driver, bicycle rider. I, I, you know, as I said, I don't want to be a do job snob, but I don't think... You know, this is a job for people on the verge of becoming pensioners later in life. It's, it's a stupid thing for a minister to say, don't you think? Well, I was going to say, I mean, maybe it's Mel Stride sort of having a, a look at vision it's of his future. own future. Because <laughs> next, after next year, there's probably quite a few Tory MPs that are going to lose their seats. And the acid test will be if they go out and take these jobs as a delivery drivers. I mean, I remember 1997 when a lot of Conservative MPs lost their seats. And, um, you know, this was after um, sort of Lord Tebbit had told people unemployed to go out on their bikes and you know, get on your bike and look for work and so on. And I remember interviewing this um, Tory MP who'd lost his seat and I went down to Gloucestershire and his, see his house and so interview him in his house and um, I said, well, what have you applied for? And he said, well, I've applied for a few school bursarships or something. And I said, well, what about, for, you know, flipping burgers or something, given that... Um, uh, you know, your your government yeah. sort of advocated this for me. I thought, oh, I don't want to do that at my age. He had a <laughs> chain of pubs, that is. He, he'd had a chain of pubs which had gone bust. Um, you know, he was a sort of entrepreneur, but not evidently a not very good one. And I said, well, why don't you get behind the bar and pull a few pints? Oh, I don't want to do that at my age, he said. <laughs> I found it completely extraordinary the way he could... Um, just um, think that, you know, none of this sort of stuff it's... applied to himself. Of course, you know, if people are short for money, you know, go out and find what work you can. It's common sense. You don't really need a government minister to try and tell you that. It's just such a bad look. I mean, look at the coverage it's getting today. It's a stupid thing for a Secretary of State to say. As uh, you and I, I think, agree, uh, you know, I'm with you. You know, if you need some money and you're 58 years old and you haven't got a job, go and get a job in a pub or, or whatever. I mean, I'm, I, or, or for God's sake, uh, if you want to, if you're fit enough, become a, a delivery boy or girl uh, if you want to. But a government secretary of state announcing this, you know, that's not good optics. That is bad politics. Uh, I just sometimes wonder whether people like Mel Stride and all the other cabinet members think before they speak. Yeah, well, you'd think they'd avoid falling into this sort of trap, wouldn't yeah. you? The number of times uh, ministers have said this sort of thing yeah. and it always causes this explosion. Yes, it does. Yeah. Are, right they? back to Tebbit, you're so doing, right. Yeah. You, say, well, you know, why surely they should be a bit wiser than that? Well, they're well, not wise, Evidently are they? not. <laughs> they're just not wise, that is the problem.